Ooh, Grandpa, you look basically dead. Okay, let's go into the archive. Let's not let's not get distracted by the cow. Um, Tricera cow? Good morning, this is Calamity Calling, and today I'm going to play... I think it's Mutation, but I might be saying that wrong, and if I am, I apologise. I found this on Steam, and the idea of it and the artwork looks really enchanting, and right now that is what we need. So, I'm going to play it. Okay. Also, the only thing about the only good thing about boobs, or one of the few good things about boobs, is that when you tie your jumper round your arms, you can hook it underneath and it stays, and that's great. Is this a mouse or a con? Oh, I love all the colours. Call me when you get there, okay? Mom. Look, you've got to allow me to worry, it's part of the job. I'm so proud of you. Stay away from the kitchen, okay? I want to come back to a nice, not burned down house. I have all those frozen meals you made. The label by day of the week. Ah, when did you get so grown up? I love you. Oh, love you too, Mum. I love those shoes! I like her hair. It's a pretty bob. Dearest Gaia and Kai, it's time. We cannot allow this rift between you to linger. He's dying. A terrible thing to do alone. Please come. Much love. Maury. What you got there? Just a letter. The ink will wear out if you keep reading it so much. The sea ain't a place for letters, girly. That's not actually how letters work. It's a place for adventures. I don't know what I'm doing with this voice, I'm trying. And you're about to have one of the rarest of them all. Full of mutants and monsters and terrible things. Ha! Nice try. You don't scare me. Moon Dragon was years ago. Mutation has been safe for ages. Sure, that's what they like to say on the mainland. I feel like he started far more and now he's going somewhere else. But why do they all keep away? Hmm? You're the first outsider to visit on nigh on 20 years. Hmm, you need a nickname. Something to make you seem nice and friendly to the natives. Ugh. Hmm. I don't like nick- I don't like nicknames. Seacrum. Nice and cutesy. Change the subject. The sea is very relaxing. I might, you know, head out on the deck and listen to it for a while. Suit yourself, Seacrum. Okay, every accent I pick throughout this is going to change many times. Just saying that now. This is so pretty. This reminds me of something. Old Man's Journey? No. This boat bit specifically reminds me of um, either Oxenfree or what remains of Edith, Edith Finch. So, I was thinking the other day, but since Animal Crossing is out now, and it's the lo-fi relaxation escape I need from the world right now. Do you think, would anyone want me to play it on the channel? It would obviously be much longer episodes because you just can't really get the feel for Animal Crossing in, I'd say less than maybe hour long episodes. But, what do you think, does anyone want to see me play Animal Crossing or alternately if you have a friend code put it in the comments and I'll come visit your island this is a long last journey isn't it 
<sighs> I feel like this is actually in real time. But I have also been watching Cry play Ori and the Will of the Wisps and it's everything I didn't even know I needed at this point in my life because Cry has been away for so long and or not doing the same sorts of game videos that he used to do for a while but it's so nice to have him back just really stressful day at work you come back you watch that and it's just like all your stress melts onto the floor and what more can you ask for really well you know a government that cares about everyone not just the rich and decent sick pay and universal basic income but apart from those things what more can you ask for Well, that was pretty well timed, wasn't it? How do I... Ah, there's... Travel to mutation, meet grandpa for the first time. No biggie. How do I... Ah, somehow I expected him to snore. Same. He looks like a snorer. Some of this cargo smells weird. Well, this expired a decade ago. Good start. There's a glowy thing. I must go to the glowy thing. Oh, oh, that made me jump. Whoa, you, you know me. You're not real. I must be dreaming. The salt of the air, the sting of the breeze, you know these things and you know me. You look so real. Hurry! Wake up, Kai. You need to hurry. Wake up! Oh, bad dream, sea crumb. No, I. Full of monsters and mutants, I bet. It's in the waters. Sure. What's that? I can't hear you over the song of the sea. Nothing. So, looking forward to meeting your grandpa. What's he like? Not so lively these days. But way back when he was a fearsome man. Especially stern about a bit of harmless smuggling. Ha <laughs> ha! Go out on deck now and you'll see her as we approach. And who? I told you his accent's going to change. Also, I'm very aware of how bright my eyeshadow is. I, I was feeling 90s, but I wasn't quite meaning to go this far. But it happened and I'm rolling with it. Ooh, that looks like a pretty animal. Probably quite large. I love everything this game is serving me right now. One of my favourite TikTokers at the moment. It is a vibe. Oh, I like the colours. Why is that, is that oil? Hello, I should like to be on the island, please. Also, why do people explore in short shorts? Like, walking boots and full-on like walking clothing because you're going to somewhere you've never been before you should be prepared to face who knows what oh no i didn't see you i'm so clumsy sorry don't worry i'm always tripping over myself you said sorry there's no need to make him feel bad I'm just a big green lump, I'm always getting in the way. You can say that again. Roll your eyes so far back you look possessed. I can't actually do that though. I'm not that... Ambidocious is not the right word. Um, so you're Kai, right? Yeah? You? Oh, I, I, I'm Tung. Um, Claire's son. I think our mums were friends. So you're Maury's grandson, right? Yeah! 
You should come to the bar later. People hang out there and um. Ah. Come on, back to work, my lad. Sorry, but I've got to get on with this. More, more is in the square, and, and she's expecting you. Oh, I love her already. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. These arms are longer than they look. Okay, she's Irish now. She's Irish. I'm just so happy to meet you. I'm Maury, an old friend of your grandpa. Um, nice to meet you. But enough of me. Are you ready? I think so. I'll take you to him. Ooh, Grandpa, you look basically dead. Grandpa? Check for a heartbeat. <laughs> Oh! No, no. It's still. Hmm, what was it? <clears throat> it's still taking away. Don't you worry. I didn't mean to wake you. I thought you'd never make it in, in time. Apologize. He doesn't need to hear stuff right now. He just needs comfort. I had to uh, wait for school holidays. Of course. For heaven's sake. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I have wanted to meet you for so long. Yet here you are. And all I can do is lie here useless. Oh, It's not your fault. Be kind. It's just really nice to meet you finally. I... I have always been bad at this kind of thing. Dora was the one who knew what to say. I miss her. Let us not talk of the past. But what a joy it is that you have come to help me. Be responsible. Let me know. Anything I can do, okay? You must tell me about yourself. Talk about my friends. He knows my family. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just me. Okay, at school, good at sports. I'm captain of the swim team. I normally like doing stuff on my own, so the team is good because I get to hang out with people. And, and, and your mother, you are close to her. Be honest. Well, do I want to be generous and then make his last, our first conversation? Be honest. Because he was a fierce man and, and it's important to be honest. I think we're both people who like to be alone. But in a nice way. I see. And now I have the pleasure of your company. I bet you've heard a lot about this place. Mum used to tell me bedtime stories about all the weird animals and stuff. Playing with the local wildlife was a favourite pastime of Gaia's. She was very young when she... Oh. Are you okay? Can I get you something? Water or... I'm not having a good day. Forgive me, I need to rest. But please go and find my old friend Yoke. Yoki? Yoki, in the archive. He has something for you. Can you do that? Anything else? I can write it in my journal. I, I use it to keep track of tasks and chores and stuff. It's very important. You are very important. Grandpa? Hmm. Okay. So far, I am very much enjoying myself. Seems like it was used recently. Maybe Maury more warmed something up for him. Looks so well worn. Probably only fits Grandpa now. 
No, I can't open that door yet. Chapter 1. Arrival. <sighs> Everything's so pretty. Where is the archive? Stairs temporary closed for repair. Do not use them. Okay, do not go upstairs. Note to self. Uh, oh, singing beans. Hello. It's all about consumer demand. Not this again. Right now, the crossing is always two days a week, right? I'm scared of the sea, full of monsters and things. But if we could develop a single user vehicle. One time, I heard Spike saw a mermaid. People could go whenever they wanted. Just imagine all those teeth and claws. What? I said, just imagine all those teeth and claws. Have you ever seen a mermaid, Sal? No, because I'm smart enough to stay away from the sea. Okay. This is delightful. I am enjoying myself. Everything is so pretty. Dot Shaman. Nick Tick. Nick Tick Do. I'm sorry. I'll get out of your way. Um, can you tell me where the archive is, please? wonder if Mum and Grandpa ever sat here and looked out at the sea. Bippity-boppity-bippity-boo. Oh, are you here to hear my fish cake song? It's very famous. Catchy. Catchy, catchy. Catchy the fishies. I'm glad you like my song. Spike does not. Spike went into the bar over there to get away from my darned nuisance. Well, I like it a lot. You can be my friend as well as Spike. Song c catches friends as well. Aw, he's a sweetheart. Where? Okay, that's Spike's bar. Oh, hello. Are you a lemur? Well, now. How's it going, Jitterbug? Kai, right? Is there anyone who doesn't know I'm arriving today? Oh, all the locals bending your ear, are they? Spike, you're not helping. Well, now we can hold shtum if you want. Mew here is a specialist in quiet. That's how she brings in all the prime meat. Hunting. Talk to Mew. You hunt? Cool. Sure. Mew's our resident hunter and punk rocker. Spike. Oh, you're going to tell me not punk rock, it's sludge core or something. Spike. Well, thanks for the introduction. You let me know if you need anything, okay? If you can't tell from my manner of speaking, I was not a tanner just like you. It's 20 years ago I landed on these peculiar shores, and I still sometimes feel like a newcomer. It can be a mite overwhelming, but we're all friendly folk. Yes, I think you'll get along mighty fine here. Mighty fine. Seems like there's a lot going on. What's up here? Can I go? No, I can't go up there. Okay, let's go out here. Bibbity-bobbity-boo. I don't know where the archive is. I need help. Oh my goodness. You look just like her. Claire, right? That's his mum, uh, the tall guy's mum. Oh, God, what I do? Yes, it's Claire. Mum talks about you a lot. I, d I don't mean to. Oh, gosh, I feel so silly. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm so happy to meet you. Be honest. Oh, man, sorry. I, I'm not so good with crying. Sorry. I just, it was such a sweet, wonderful time. See, so you walk up to me after all those years. 
I just suddenly broke it all back and now I can't stop. Please just leave me for a bit. Go and find Alan in the square. She's lovely and she'll be on her break about now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so that's the people I've spoken to before. So let's go this way. Maybe it's somewhere up here. Oh my days. Hi, honey. Welcome. It's so lovely to see a fresh face around here. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth. Well, I think so anyway. It's nice. I like all the colours. I suppose it must seem a little backwards to you coming from the big city. But just you wait the dawns and the wildlife. It's bliss. Oh, sorry. How rude. I'm alien and this little one doesn't have a name yet. Aw, she's preggy. It's half me and half grabby, so who knows what to expect. The guy who sails the ferry? You don't sound impressed. He's not much of a listener, but he's very caring when you get past that. Oh, before I forget, you must go and see Claire. She was your mother's best friend and she's dying to meet you. Explain about the crying. I think I might have upset her. Oh no. I bet she cried. She was so worried she would. It's nothing personal. Or actually, it's because she loved your mum so much. She'll be alright in a bit. You might not feel it yet, but you're coming back to some family history here. In a good way, I hope. Where is the archive? Oh. Found the archive. Oh, I love how this looks. This is where Yoki works. A dinosaur. This looks like a dinosaur. Oh, it's a cross between a dinosaur and a cow. Okay, let's go into the archive. Let's not let's not get distracted by the cow. Um Tricera cow? That thing? If not, it should be. Those ruins feel more recent than the others. You're just jealous of my Tricera cows. I would like to go in, please. Hello, Yoki. I like his hair. Could it, could it be? Kai? What is this place? Welcome to the archive. A fine collection of objects and writings are hidden herein, including my writing, some very important research if I may so say myself. Certainly investigating the history of here and hereabouts. For years it's been my aim to collect everything I can. Archives are vital places to record culture as well as fact. It's interesting. Sounds really important. I'm glad you think so, but to purpose. I am supposed to give you this. The cover is cool. It's called embroidery, right? Indeed. The talented hands of Claire at work. The encyclopedia, con encyclopedia contains detailed information about the plant life hereabouts. The flora of mutation, mutation starting from seeds. The collaboration between me and your grandfather which we are both, um, quite proud of. Is there a special reason you're giving me this? I think, let's just say your grandfather has a strong connection to everything that grows. I believe he wishes to cultivate your interest in these things. Do have a look inside. In the meantime, thank you for paying our humble archive a visit, young lady. Feel free to have a look around and ask me if there's anything you're curious about. Thanks, Manny, always. I began this catalogue of flora, catalogue of the flora of mutation as a way to collect what Manny had taught me. 
Coming from a scientific background, I had the urge to catalogue and sim to catalogue to symptomatically pin down and define the new and wondrous flora of my new environment. But before long, I came to understand that the notion of order we like to consider as implicit in the scientific method is a fallacy. Order is a social, not a natural construct. What right do I have to decide the proper name for a thing? I keep this record as a reminder of my journey as I try to understand how to pass on the gifts given to me by mutation. Always question. So, I'm going to end this one here because we found the archive. We did our first mission. Yay! This game is honestly so delightful. Everything is so pretty and so fluid and yes. I am so excited to play more of this. So, I hope you have a very lovely day, and most importantly of all, you do you!